finally going to be doing weekly streams. I, I'm finally committing to them. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, last week I did an Isaac stream. This week I'm going to be doing Omori. Uh, it's going to be nice. Hell yeah. Uh, next time I do an Isaac stream... Uh, I unlocked the delete this challenge. Uh, are you keyed in enough on repentance to know what the delete this challenge is? No. Uh, it's not... Would it be a, a spoiler to tell you what it is? I don't think so. Um, essentially, the delete this challenge is a, uh... Uh, essentially, when you unlock Tainted Eden, uh, you know about the Tainted characters at least, right? Hmm? You know about the Tainted characters, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. So, when you unlock Tainted Eden, you unlock a challenge that is uh, off the screen. And essentially... What you, uh, what you have to see, like, not see, what you, uh, what happens is, like, you select it, and it is, um, do you remember that one mod, uh, like, that was the Germa reference, uh, 700,000 items, and they were just randomly generated garbage that, uh, just had random functions, essentially. I think so. I don't remember. Well, essentially... Imagine that, but, like... For real, though... Uh... Really, they added a, uh... They added an item that just, like has a completely random function, depending on, uh... Like, they added an item that turns every item into a completely random... item. Like... You know. Yeah. Like, it, uh... <laughs> it's just complete garbage it's whatever the fuck the game generates like if isaac hurt then uh do a uh, stupid thing if uh isaac uh clear room then uh spawn eight troll bombs stuff like that you know yeah it's uh It's dumb, and I love it. It's the exact flavor of dumb that I love the most. Uh, the kind of dumb that is, like, unflinchingly, like, fucked up and will fuck gameplay up. No doubt. It's like... It's, it's so hard to uh, describe why I love, like, ba it's basically like playing Corruptions in Vanilla Isaac. That's, that's the best way that I think I could describe it. Interesting. Why is why is that trending? Why is what trending? There's a hashtag going around that says trans women are men that is trending right now. What? Uh, How? <laughs> How? I mean, there are a lot of shitty people, my friend. True. And you go through the fucking people tweeting the shit out and they're all horrible garbage people. I'm just shocked that this shit is trending. 
Like, what I mean, the fuck? My goodness. <laughs> it's, uh... Yeah, it's self-explanatory. That's shit. Well, uh, just let it be known that uh, st neither streamer holds that incorrect opinion uh, being expressed by uh, turf garbage. Yeah. Or just people who are just like, you know, not trans friendly. It's odd how uh, it, it's uh, so coincidental that uh, TERFs are in bed with white nationalists and republicans so often. True. It's... It's, it's just a... And you also jerk off to trans porn. I mean, yeah, but also, you know. I how <laughs> That's I, neither I, here nor there. True. It's just ironic. Yeah. I mean, you know what they say about gay politicians. What do they say? <laughs> I mean, well, more accurately, what they say about anti-gay politicians. Oh. That they are all fucking closeted. And I mean, like... At least a large percentage of them are. It's... It's striking. My god damn. There's an... The fact that there is enough of them to create a stereotype... Uh... Is sort of telling in and of itself. But enough, enough about politics. We gotta talk about a, the most politically charged video game ever made. True. <laughs> True. True. Anyways, hey, David, do you have a draw? Do you have the the simple scrimblow drawing? Oh, I forgot. Just like. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna gonna AI generate uh, on fucking crayon. Uh, I'm just gonna AI generate overly complex robot. And, uh, it's gonna look like a Metal Gear. Uh, shouldn't take too long, hopefully. But I, pro I really should have. I keep forgetting to do the doodle in advance. I'm I'm failing all of you. Retarded. All right. You... But for real, um. Here we are. Um, yeah, this this looks close enough to a Metal Gear schematic. Here's a schematic for you. My ass. Schematic, give Frank my schematic. My endorphins and poor man, I'm swarming. Mathematical schematical. Lyrical, spiritual, miracle. <laughs> is this just a... Is this an AI-generated image? Yes. Oh, God. It's an AI-generated image of overly complicated robot. I mean, it goes in tow with how complicated the series can get, so hey. Yeah. That makes sense. 
it does look like the uh, it does look a little like the uh, blueprints for the uh, Metal Gear Ray in uh, four. It looks like it does. It legit looks like something Yoji Shinkawa draw drew. Yeah, it fits. It's real. Sorry if this MGS2 sneaking music is getting grating for some of some of some of y'all. I mean, don't forget that uh, there there are other Metal Gear. Mu True, but this that, one scratches my brain. I mean, that's fair. There are metal other Metal Gears than just the Solid series, my friend. Oh, I'm well aware. I mean, also there's Rising, but like. Rising is a special case. We'll get to Rising. We'll get to how, Rising. How could you not forget about fucking Rising in this day and age? I mean, what with Gianni's whole existence and, and Funny West's, West's whole, whole existence. existence. <laughs> and Senator Armstrong's whole existence. I mean, we were getting don't fuck with this senator memes back in like... To 2014 when the game came out. Yeah. Game has always been relevant. True. It's just like coming back into major relevance. It's, what happens is it always happens with Metal Gear Rising. It spikes and then it dips and then it spikes again and then it dips. It's like the loss. It's like the loss meme, you know? It comes, it yeah. dies, it comes back, it dies, it comes back. I'd never say that it fully dies even. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I mean. Like, it, do it doesn't fully die. It just wanes. I'd, like, wanes, yes. I'd say, uh, I'd go as far as to say, like, the that Metal Gear Rising memes continue to happen, like, regardless of uh, scenario, but, like... I mean, not gonna lie... If Konami put those games on other platforms, people would probably not talk a lot about uh, Rising, if I'm being honest. Because Rising, I love Rising, don't get me wrong. However, there is shit in the other games that is nuts. Just as crazy. Yeah, I mean... It's yeah. just f funny. I mean... Was it in, like... It was in uh, four, not rising, when uh, Raiden fucking breakdanced the two uh, Metal Gears, right? That when it, when Raiden uh, breakdanced the two geckos and like yeah, the was twirling his geckos. like sword around and shit and like grabbing like their tethers and shit. Yeah, that was in four. Yeah, okay. I was j like, I've only watched playthroughs. I've never played any of the games. And, uh, it has been years. I'm gonna keep it um, Chief, I only played a little bit of 4. I need to dump that game and play that show on RPCS3. Yeah. Because thankfully, I got a Blu-ray reader. <laughs> Alrighty. So, Doovy. Yeah? Uh, I'm gonna start... I'm gonna save her for last. I'm gonna save a specific boss for last. And it is a she, and I'm sure, just saying that, I'm sure you all know who it is. Hello, Snorch. Vivi. Hey, Vivi. Anyways, I'm gonna switch music. Another. Hello, Snorch. How was your day? She went to Six Flags. So I am gonna start with a very fun. We're going Six Flags! We ride the roller coasters and ride the roller coasters and ride the roller coasters. Um, I'm gonna. Because I'm already in the car. I'm in Six Flags. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Anyways, we're gonna do, um, a two boss since I just played two music, but might as well play this. Where is he? I get the live feed, my friend. Of course, the live feed. What's a very? I'm gonna look at a very portly man, if you will. A very. You're a, going to look at Ryan. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. Don't worry about it. 
a very portly fellow, you, you should say. Or a fat man. Laugh and grow fat! Jesus. <laughs> so, uh, fat man. He is very funny. Uh, I'm sure... I'm sh Divi, have you played two? I, like I said, I have not played a single Metal Gear game. Oh. So, Fat Man... Also, uh, may I ask why the live feed is so wide? I don't know. Hold on. Like... I don't know why it's so wide. Look at, like... There we go. That's perfect. There we go. Yeah, this man... This man, Atomic. As the name would suggest. Yes, he does have roller blades. He skate you while you fight him. He skates around the arena, and shit. And he sips and he sips on wine through a straw. Which, uh, I mean, it's it's Metal Gear. Of course he does. And, and he set it, and he basically set up all the bombs around um, the big shell, which you had to freeze. Um, and yeah, he's very—he's a very eccentric guy. He's very fucking weird, <laughs> but he's really funny. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a positive eccentric, like question from snort a silly straw or a regular ass straw it looks like just a regular straw like a bendy straw Look, it looks like a metal straw like uh one of the fucking like the type that uh, californians keep insisting that you can just switch to i'm um, just switch to that straw erm um. you just need to get like a special set of q-tips that'll clean it out uh what's wrong with that you can't dishwash it. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah. So the thing I immediately love about Fat Man is his big ass jacket. He's just lame ass save the turtles. Like it doesn't even save the fucking turtles. I'm sorry. I, I, I like. <laughs> it's not just... turtly enough for the turtle club. Turtle. Oh my god. <laughs> he kind of looks like Dana Carvey from Master of Disguise. <laughs> Oh my god, he kind of does. Turtle. Am I not fat enough for the Fat Man Club? Am I not fat enough for the Fat Man Club? Eh, <laughs> bombing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say, I do love, like... This is a bonkers idea, but, like, cert like how serious his fucking face is does sell quite a bit of it. It does, even though he himself is very jokey during the fight. Like he'll yeah. insult Raiden and shit. Like, around. he can... He himself can be a joke, jokey jokester. Uh, full of the jokes. Uh, but like... Admittedly, this is like... This... This man's outfit is peak I don't give a shit what you think about me. Well, it's just peak. I mean, it's like the philosophy I have with like dudes in big coats. It's just so dripping. It looks so good. Even though it's yeah, like he's... protective, he's a bombs expert, so obviously he would wear a coat like this. It still looks really good, especially with like. Yeah. It even complements like this complements like the blades too, which you think would be like kind of like out of place. Yeah, the no, they design. they do work. Yeah. Uh, the lone Chris says thick. Thanks for your input. Thank I, you. appre I, I appre- I <laughs> appreciate- Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Honestly, like, that high collar hiding his face does work as, like, both a, like, a silly aspect and, like, a serious, like, hiding his face mask, sort of. Yeah. It, it adds a lot, I think. Yeah, I'd say it does. It does make him a little more menacing. Even mm. though it's like... In reality... He is, like, even being a silly character, having a menacing aspect to yourself 
Especially in a game as charged as, like, in a setting as charged as one where, you know, the Patriots exist. True. I mean, his role, it, like... Like, when you see a character... When I see a character designed with this kind of philosophy in mind, I do think, like, oh, this man is, uh... This man did some fucked up shit, and he does not care. Yeah, he doesn't really give a shit. <laughs> this is like the equivalent of like a war criminal uh, spending like the end of their lifetime in the Bahamas, uh, learning how to play shuffleboard. True. That. Like, uh, oh, after I killed uh, civilians in Ghana, I uh, learned how to rollerblade. I'm, the, I'm now the king of my roller disco. <laughs> I'm sure he would be. Just play some bombs on the dance floor and shit. Sip play on La wine. Bamba on the dance floor or some shit. Yeah. Enough talking about Fat Man. I think that, like... Like, also just, like, the pouches, uh, marking down, like, the areas, like, very clearly, like, it, like, very clearly denoting aspects of, like, where signatures and important information would go on a bomb, like yeah. that. It's, or just bombs it's in general. It's peak. Okay. It's peak. I don't know what to say other than, like, five. We're starting out with a banger. True. I give this a five as well. Alright. So let's move from an MGS. You know what? Let's do, let's do, uh, hmm. A portly man or a, or a strange man? Because we just did uh, portly man. I was just going to. Uh, I was just gonna rush to suggesting the sorrow. You're you're going hard with the sorrow already. I'm going hard with the sorrow already. There's no going light unless you go for the fucking like Metal Gears themselves. Okay. <laughs> They're, like you you gotta agree with me on that one, right? Like true. Like the in like the entire human cast goes hard. Uh. For the most part. The, uh, this is the sorrow. I could not find a good picture of him with his, like, hood up, but he looks really creepy with, like, the hood, like, before you fight him. I mean, this man... Uh, I mean, you can probably, like, real quick open up a YouTube video of, like, the cutscene before his quote-unquote fight... Um, this man is dead. Yes. Uh, before you fight him. Yeah, he dies at, like, the beginning of the game, too. That's yeah. why his eyes bleeding, and that's why he's called the Sorrow, because he's a ghost. Yeah. This man, um... Well, essentially, he is, like... This render doesn't really do him justice. In-game, he's, like... Like, the flickering, the, uh... The storm, like, as you're, like, going yeah. through a river, there's, like, a big storm or whatever, and he's kind of guiding you through the river. But the cool thing about the Sorrow, like, his boss fight, is it's not really a fight. I mean, because... That's more mechanical, admittedly, but, like, yeah. it does... It, it does lend itself a little bit to the design. Like, this is explaining how the design lends itself to this. Yeah. Um... Because the thing about the Sorrow, at least his boss fight, is like, throughout the time you're going through the river, you if you killed any enemy, you see their ghost come out and like reach out at you. And they will attack you and attempt to kill you. Uh, so essentially, it's a little bit of like... Uh, it, it's a really fucking sick-ass way to... Uh, 
work in a morality test without being preachy. Because if you did a very, like, stealthy pacifist run throughout, it's just an empty river uh, as you somberly and, so like, quietly follow this man uh, all the way to the end. Yeah. Um, but if uh, you killed every single enemy that you saw, it will be a gauntlet. Uh, one that will uh, absolutely fuck your shit up and leave you reeling by the end. Which is kind of reflected a little bit in uh, the way that he just, like, looks pass- Like, he holds himself a little bit passively. He does, like... He's just, uh... He's intimidating, but, like... He doesn't look like he's necessarily any special guy. Yeah. Because he doesn't need to be. He is just a, a like, another one of the souls in this river. Yeah. And that's fucking cool. It is. Now, does that translate to a uh, particularly neat design? Uh, well, I will say, uh, it it's uh, it doesn't translate to a bad design. It's kind of a mid. It's kind of a middle ground design, honestly, because yeah. it's not meant to like. I mean, him with the hood up, with like his raincoat and shit up, like he does look like. It, it looks a little creepier. Kind of like... I yeah. know it's like so... Uh, what's the word? Cliche? Uh, yeah, cliche, but it's like... Oh, it's like death. It's like a Grim Reaper type. I mean... But... And like, it works here. It works... But again, it's... It's... It's, subdu it's subdued enough, like... Where in-game, it doesn't... Like, in the context of him... It makes a lot of sense, but as a design, he uh, kind of is a little bit lackluster. Because you know he is just a he is just a ghost after all. Right. Also, in the fight, he will jump scare you. <laughs> yeah. And if you want to see what that looks like, uh, I'm just gonna show the image. I'm not gonna play a clip because, fucking, God forbid, I do that. I mean, like... This is typically what they look like. This is just one where it's just like a close-up of his face. Yeah. And he goes like, ah! He like jump scares you. Point is, he's in permanent agony and sorrow. Yep. Uh, hence the name. But yeah, when you really look at his, like design though like i said it's kind of middle ground because like you got like yeah. typical like combat boots this like camo which you can get um after you do the f the, the sorrow fight this like turtleneck with like leather or, or like fabric gloves and shit and then just like a gun <laughs> but i do yeah. think i don't know what is so strange about like his face it's like, there's something about his face that's, like, inherently creepy. I think it's just because he's, like, a little older or something like that. But... You think old people are scary, huh, Ivan? I guess... I guess so. I don't know. But I know, but with, like, the sorrow, he's just inherently creepy. I don't know. And I know that's the point, I mean, but there's just something about him that's, like, unnerving. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I I get more unnerved by him in-game than I do by him yep. in renders, definitely. Well, yeah. Because, like... Because it's more about the boss fight than, like, you know, the man stuff. Like, about what the boss fight means. Which yeah. is, unfortunately, uh, not what we're judging. Yeah. So I'd give him, like, a 2.5. Maybe, like, a 2. I'd give, I'd give him a 3. Uh, he does embody what he's... Like, what the fight is going for pretty well. 
Hmm. All right. Anyways. Next. Um. Next. Uh. Let's see. I'm tempted to go MGS1 because there's a. Do I do back to back spooky men? Sure. Or is that too much? Um. Uh. I mean, let's let's come out the gate swinging with uh, the most popular fucking Metal Gear villain. I mean, other than Armstrong, but we'll get to him later. Yeah. Everybody knows who we mean. Uh. Everybody knows, because, uh, you like to play Castlevania, don't you? What? You don't like girls? <laughs> you like to play Super Mario Sunshine, don't you, Snake? What? How did he know? I love to Bing Bing Wahoo. Yeah, Psychomantis. <sighs> now, I've always loved Psychomantis' design, even though it's like... This, like, weird BDSM dude... That's just with the foxhounds. But, like, it makes sense considering he's, like, the psychic guy... Who can, like, take control of people and shit like that. I mean, also, like, having a mask like that inherently, uh increases the mysticism of like it, it fits the military theming while like it, it's not too extra yeah uh, i mean admittedly like it, it can be too extra in like you're allowed to be too extra in metal gear but like i mean yeah because a lot of the characters are like very eccentric and shit like that and also do some fucking crazy bullshit frequently. Uh, but even still, like, it's relative, like, he's relatively subdued. Uh, he's, like, you see him and you're more uh, unsettled by uh, what he's capable of than, uh, you know... True, yeah. It's even funnier to think that he comes back and possesses one of the, uh... bosses in MGS4. Mm. Yeah, like, he actually, like, comes back as a ghost. Yeah. I mean, that also tracks with, uh... Metal Gear and all that. But... True. But Screaming Mantis, that's a different boss. I want to talk yeah, about that... her. I want to talk about Psycho Mantis. I want to talk about this guy. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm a big I fan can... of gas masks, so... Just like... I can, safe... I can safely say, like... I... I don't think that, uh... The, uh... Like, I think that, uh... Every element here is in... Harmony, you know? Like, this, uh, he's not wearing any tactical gear for the most part. He is explicitly wearing, like, the, uh, like, other than the gas mask, which is explicitly used to hide his face, he's not wearing any gear to, uh, do anything other than accentuate just, uh, I'm trying to find the word. Um, Using his gas mask to what? To accentuate his what? Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, um, no, like, the rest of, like, his clothing is accentuating the uh, aspects of, like... This man is not fit, like, not meant for traditional combat. Well, yeah. This, uh, like... He does not care for body armor. He does not care... About... It's also just, like, weird and, like, strange. Like, why would he have this, like, like I said, BDSM, like, SM, SNM, like, type fucking outfit? 
I it's mean, almost like some like ceremonial type shit, you know? Yeah. And to be honest, the opening of his uh, uh, combat feels like a ceremony. I mean, yeah, because he's got like fucking busts wrapped in like weird shit. And like the soundtrack going, we're we're talking a little too much about uh, gameplay over design. One yeah. thing I do find funny about Mantis is like he has like a barcode on his like I want to say it's his right shoulder. He just has a barcode there for some weird reason. Um, let me pull up like a proper. It's hard to pull up, like, proper renders for some weird fucking reason. I mean, like... Here's, like, a statue, though. Like, just it's, to... like, it's... There's a very high likelihood that Konami just never released full 3D renders for their, uh... Characters. I mean, I mean yeah, why would they? They don't care. <sighs> yeah. Like, see here with this statue. Oh, another thing I do want to point out about Mantis is that he's very, like, emaciated. Like, his body is very, like, skinny. He's very gaunt. His body is very gaunt. Yeah, because, that... well, I mean, psychic bullshit will take a tax on you. Also, the fact that, like, now don't quote me on this, but I think if I remember his backstory, his mom died, like, giving birth to him. And, like, he was just very, like, fucked up. Like, his body was just very fucked up. If I'm correct. So that's pro- I mean, that's like he a, could be correct. Yeah, so that's definitely a reason why he's just, like, body's, like, kind of emaciated. And, like, weird. Um, but yeah, there is a barcode, like, right there on his arm. Also, he has one on his head. We'll get to his- you know what? We'll get to his face. Because he does have a face. That does factor into the design, but I don't know if that'll factor into the score, given that's, uh, that's not him as a boss, that's him as a character. True. You, you feel me? Oh yeah, you're right. I guess another design I could pull out is because he was in Metal Gear Solid Five. But, 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 as like a little babber, little babber mantis... And he had hair for some reason. But yeah, little baby yeah. mantis was like fucking busted as shit. Yeah. And five for very some much. Uh, they they were like mantis, huh? Yeah, I think this version of mantis, like, it's there. The design is still there, but this is like more. It's like he just got out of, like, a mental institution because he's wearing, like, a straight jacket. Like, it's so on the nose. Like, yeah, I, like, I, I don't hate it, but, like, it's so much. It's a lot more, I'd say it's, like, I don't know. I think it's because I find this shit, like, kind of creepy. Not gonna lie. But I do think... I mean, it is. Don't yeah. get me wrong. It really is. But, like... Though, do you think... Mantis should kind of speak for himself, kind of. I don't know. Exactly. The man himself, the the part that made Psycho Mantis work so well in Metal Gear Solid 1 is how, like, less is more. Yeah. Like, he's, like, he is hiding his identity. He's wearing all black, light clothing. Like, very light clothing, no space for armor or anything like that. Yeah. It's, uh... It's all just him. It's, like... He's presenting, like, a... A mas... He's presenting both a masquerade... And a, uh, clearly visible self. And it's, uh, and it's fucked up, and it's cool. True. 
true. Anyways, uh, I'm just gonna give him a five, just because I've always loved- I even own a fucking figure of Mantis. I just love this character and I love his design. I give him a five. I was gonna give him a four point- I'm gonna give him a four point five. Uh, like, I- I do love him. It's just that, like... It's just, like... That level- that level of simplicity, I, it's not like something's missing, it's just that, like... It's, uh... It's not everything that it need- Like, it's not everything that it... Uh... Possibly could be, you know? I and I'm- also, be. I'm gonna give Baby Mantis, like, uh... Like, n not two. Two. It's too much. With the fucking, like, fucked up Mantis hands. You just raid me, Jimby? Because if so, thank you for the raid. Um. Anyways, moving on from Mantis. Who else? Who should I do next? A part of me wants to do one of my favorite bosses uh, already. I mean, there are so many that we can get to. Uh, we don't... There, there does not have to be any fat to trim. You get what I mean? I guess, yeah. But it's like... Like, we can we can only review the notable ones. Or, like, the ones that are, like, well appreciated. True. True. Oh, my God. So, in that case... Oh, my God. In that case, then, let's... If if I can find a good picture of him without his... You know, I'll just put the picture with his coat on already. Hold on. In that case... Vivi, Vivi, are you listening? If you're listening, you're gonna, you, you better listen. You better listen, Vivi. Where is he? Fun thing about the fun thing about these buildups is is uh, oftentimes I don't even know what Ivan is building up to, so I'm just like, all right, man, yeah. But uh, I implicitly trust you. Sundowner. Sundowner! Ah, my favorite MGR boss, Sundowner. Uh, I can't get enough uh, of this guy. Yeah. Okay, so... The thing about Sundowner... Well, the first thing I love a lot about Sundowner, I mean, obviously, this is him with his coat on. We don't have him with his, like, shit out. But one thing I really like about Sundowner is, like, how his armor is very much inspired by, like, samurai. Like, if I'm... I'm hold on, I'm looking for a picture right now. Because I'm trying to find a picture of him where it's just, like, him standing with his shields out. But, um, I do find it funny how he's, like... He just has this dumb barcode on his forehead as well. Like a lot of the other bosses in Metal Gear, it seems. Like... Hitman. <laughs> Hitman. 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 Ah, oh, here we go. Here's a good one. Here's a good fucking screenshot of him with just his fucking, uh... His armor on. I do have to say... Yeah. That, uh, the way that the, uh, the lower half of, uh, the, the way that the red accentuate, like, not accentuates, uh, the way that the blending on the red of the coat turns it into, like, it gives it the feel of him wearing a kimono, uh, plus the, uh, fucking traditional ass Japanese shoes. The uh, open-toed sandals. True, he's like a weeb. 
He is a little weeby. Yeah, I mean, if you go through the garden area too before, like, he's such a... Dude, dude is... He uh, is a little weeble wobbly. Yeah. But, like, it really fits, especially with his massive bulky frame. True. It, he's, he's a chunky boy. Mm-hmm. He's like muscular fat. Not quite fat. as chunky as Fat Man, but uh, True. almost. He's like muscular fat. That's like that's like him. Oh yeah. Now, anyways, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come here. Come here, you. So yeah, I know a lot of like the MGR bosses. Like some of their designs are like very busy, like especially with the texturing. But this is like no exception, and this is kind of like no exception or whatever. Like, mm -hmm. but yeah, like, like I said before about like the samurai inspired like shit, like you can see it with like the way the armor is like here and like here, as well as like the breastplate here. Typically with like this, I mean, it doesn't yeah. look like it, um, like the way you would normally think of it, but it's very much inspired by like Jap Japanese samurai, especially his shields right here. Which do extend oh. out, and you can, and if you hit them, you fucking blow up. But yeah. I will say, those look, those look a little less like shields and more like fucking Evangelion wings. <laughs> I guess, I don't know, they're just not in their proper shield mode yet, which makes him fucking invincible. Um, also, he's got a uh, motorcycle for a cock. Oh yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice the tubing there. That's like something I never really noticed about Sundowner. Then again, I, I think mean, this is just how the game is lit at this particular moment. That's also just this series, you know? Like, we're, we're just like, oh, holy shit. I can't believe that this small detail uh, missed our eyes in the middle of a uh, fucking 60 FPS fight where I'm like, not, where 90% of it is like, a f like, special effects, uh, and the other 10% of it, I'm focusing on, uh, dealing the most possible damages I can. True. Like, you know. It makes sense. I guess another thing I do want to point out that's, like, very samurai-esque is the way his head here is. Like, especially the way his, like, little visor is and like the way his neck area is again very samurai armor like inspired mm -hmm. like if you've seen I... samurai helmets like you know like the little curvy bits like on the side mm -hmm. the uh bits what supposed to save you from getting your head cleaved in half because your neck was usually pretty guarded True, yeah. It's like a baseball mouth guard. Yes, basically. <laughs> uh, I do have to say, uh, I significantly like uh, Coat Sundowner more than uh, fucking Blade Runner Gimp Suit Sundowner. Got some asshole snooping around. Yeah. He uh, looks good in that. He looks good in this coat. He he looks like he looks like if Mister X was fucking sent like was sapient, like understood his surroundings, and uh, relished in every moment of it. Mm. That's my take on his uh, look in the coat. I never really thought about that. I mean. Yeah, trench coat. And, yeah, I see what you mean. I mean, uh, he's like, me. he's got that huge build. It like, and like, it goes from like a tactical coat, like with what looks to be body armor built in with the uh, like blocky shaping, into that again kimono like uh, bottom half of the coat. The way that it splits apart. The way that his feet are uh, placed firmly in those sandals. Yeah, because they are. This man, 
Because it's not like how Raiden's feet are. Like, the no like how a lot of Desperados, like... I think maybe Sam has the same sort of style, but he's, like, another clearly samurai-inspired character. Like, the way his design yeah. is. But, yeah. There aren't, like... Like, this is, like, very purposeful here. I'm sure mm. Sundowner was very purposeful in the choice of, like, how his armor would be. I can also... I mean, he owns the I, company, I, so it makes sense. I mean, this man is, like, half Geese Howard, half, like, so, like one of the fucking grapplers from Eunice. I've never seen Eunice, but I, I, I think that's... I think that's... I... I can definitely see what you mean when you say Geese. I mean, he falls yeah. off a fucking building after you beat him, so... That's true. I mean, look, this uh, this bulky motherfucker uh, gets a solid five out of me, but in his uh, in his techno babble form, in, uh, his, in his battle form, yeah, in his battle form, ah, what what's going on here, man? Like it's like it's 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 just a little much, in like. And not yes, in, like, is, a uh... Metal Gear way, in, like, a I'm trying to, like, parse what the purpose of a lot of this is way. Ah, I gotta you know give that is? a three. I give both. You know what it is, dude? It's... it's... <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it just because it's bullshit. Uh, oh, anyways. come on. Finish the joke! Looks like Crisis Suit with extra shit thrown on top. Yes, I do. I can definitely see what you mean there, Sarah. Yeah. Um, yeah. With a fucking motorcycle head. Uh, like a, ch a panhead chopper. Sliced in half and placed firmly, like, cockwise. Where the... Like, where it would go directly into the, uh... Shit. What the fuck is that? Uh, I can't, I can't think of the next word in that sentence. But one of you fine audience members can finish the joke. Uh, it's a fill your, it's a fill in the blank. I'm not even sure what you're trying situation. to say. But anyways, moving on from my favorite character in yeah. all of MGR, I did not want to grab that picture. Let's see. Who else do we got? I guess since John is here, um, I might as well take a look at... Fucking... Ooh. Hold on. <laughs> I have to do a joke for this, just because I okay. anytime anytime I think of him, I think of I think of this set of. This this fucking joke. Joke incoming. Be warned. I am Shalashaska, also, also known called Revolver, Revolver. Ocelot. Ocelot. Okay, that is that is MGS five Ocelot, but it is very similar to his. You know, I am gonna play his fucking theme from three just because it's so good. Bit of a build up, but yeah, this is uh, this is Revolver Ocelot, a man who has switched alliances many times, and I'm gonna put. Mm -hmm. All of the ocelots that I have in my folder. On There's screen. a lot of ocelots. There certainly is. After all, as he said, um, fucking ocelots are proud creatures. Wow. <laughs> 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 I 
But yeah, Revolver Ocelot. Very uh, cowboy sort of type beat, especially with his like original designs, namely this one. I cannot get a good render of his outfit in MGS uh, 1. So, or not, just render of him in MGS 1. So uh, here's some Yoji Shinkawa art, which basically looks around the same. And yes, it is very mm -hmm. cowboy-esque. After all, yeah. his favorite gun, the best gun ever, the Colt Single Action Army, which he isn't holding in this one. <laughs> Yeah, he's very much like an old, like, western-y type, even though he is, uh, from Russia. He's like a cowboy. An old, yeah. grizzled I mean, cowboy. It's... You know the stories of all those fucking Japanese, uh, imm uh Japanese immigrants who are, like, disappointed that, ca like, cowboys aren't, like, a regular thing in the United States. And they, like... Reverse weebs, basically. Yeah. Haro, my name is Cowboy Tanaka. <laughs> Shit, come on. I know that filthy Frank bit. I know. It's a very good bit. Clint Eastwood could have played him back in the day. Exactly, he could have. He very well could have. Yeah. Very Clint Eastwood esque. More and, in MGS1 uh, than in MGS5. And MGS3. Clint, look at this. Look at this gay boy. Clint Eastwood could have played him back in the day and also uh, said a lot of slurs on set, but you know, we don't talk about that. <laughs> true. <laughs> true, true. Um, yeah, I love his, like, long trench coat from one. I'm not a fan of, like, the whatchamacallit he's got like a tucked in shirt here i mean it looks like it looks like ocelot it looks like him yeah just like it's like tucked in and shit he's got like these long cowboy boots as compared to like he's wearing boots they're just tucked in by his slacks that particular render of ocelot uh looks a little bit like he's being played by norman reedus <laughs> I mean, it is from five, so that's true. That's true. True. <laughs> okay. Um. Though I can't bring up um, ocelot. At least these ocelots without bringing up um, fucking Hideo. Do be loving movies. Yes. Saw Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. Saw Thor. The Boss Baby was one of the best experiences of my life. <laughs> Saw Doctor Strange. Oh, I don't think he liked it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I do have to talk. We do have to at least mention fucking Liquid Ocelot. Yeah. I mean, like, here's the thing. Um, with the uh, MGS3 Ocelot, he's, like, it's a nice design. He's just, like, a Red Beret. True. Like, it's... It's very much, like, he's not wearing what he wants to wear. And the other well, two... Well, it's a uniform, yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. But in the other two, like, I don't think that we rate... I, I think that we don't rate MGS3 Ocelot, you know? For that reason. Like, it's not like... Well, I mean, it's, it's it's the same character, just a different design. I mean, you know? yeah, but, like, here's the thing. I feel like the different design is, like, a standard uniform, though. Like... I mean, compared to the other, like, soldiers that are under his command, like, he has a special uniform... So, I mean, that's that's true, but, like, uh, I don't know. It's it's it, it's a little bit of a tricky one. I, there, I, because, I, like, I kind of understand you. I mean, I'd give it, like, 
just because it is kind of i'd give, give it, like, like here's the thing i'd give the design itself a four but like i don't feel like the design represents ocelot i don't think that this is like uh, i don't think that that is uh representative of like at that point in the series you're seeing like oh this is where the uh story started this is where he was at that time you know and natural like so naturally it doesn't have to look like him you know true i mean it kind of does but it's like younger um mgs fork loses some well yeah well yeah because okay spoilers for mgs4 Big spoilers for MGS4. Big spoilers for a game released in, like, what, 2008? 2008, still, I don't know. So, it's weird because the gimmick with Liquid Ocelot is that it's Liquid Snake and Ocelot's body, which is why he's, like, going so crazy and, like, doing, like, all this fucked up shit. And it would, na it would make sense why he would lose the Western charm, because it's Liquid Snake controlling his body. However, as it turns out, Liquid uh, Snake was not in control at all. It was just Ocelot. Just being, uh, being a Gemini, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Total Scorpio move. Yeah. Um... So it's like... I mean, it makes sense because he purposely made it seem like he was insane, but it's like, I don't know. It is kind of generic and, like, plain. I mean, it makes sense in the sense of, like, Liquid Snake. Like, he's just wearing kinda, a dude suit. He is. And it is kind of boring. Like, he's wearing a high-vis jacket. What more... How much more dude do you get? True. I give it, like, a... And a fucking ID badge. That gets a one and a half. <laughs> just wearing a dude suit. True true yeah i give it kind of like a like a two i give also for, for mgs yeah, it's not as fun five as and original ocelot i'm gonna give that like a solid like four four and a half somewhere yeah uh, I, yeah four and a half i give uh five ocelot like a four i give mgs one ocelot like five i i really do feel like there's like they're good for different reasons like yeah mgs5 ocelot just has that uh much more like stay like much more toned down charm you know true whereas like original ocelot has that uh that he is full on cowboy and uh yeah you know he got he fucking slack and he boot true also john if you're listening uh boss get down it's the enemy sniper stay low and cl crawl along the ground boss get down it's an enemy gunship it could cut a man in two <laughs> jesus God. <laughs> and what happens when uh boss doesn't get down um, bad things happen. Yeah. <laughs> That's the sound of uh, bad things happening when boss doesn't get down. True. Tread carefully, boss. Yeah. Uh, let's let's review one of the robots. Oh, one of the Metal Gears. Uh, yeah. let's do. I mean, not necessarily. I mean. Don't you fight some of the, like, don't you, like, aren't there, like, non-Metal Gear machine bosses? Nah. There are, I think. I know there's Blade Wolf. I know that's, like, one of them. L the yeah. LQ-84-I. Do you want to do him? Sure, why not? All right. Let's, uh, change the pace. Well, I mean, there are two. There are two designs for for Blade Wolf, because there is. 
LQ84I Wolf, and then like after he was uh, salvaged or whatever. Mm. Use your intellect, evade my blows. Oh, let me just pull Use your up. dick, evade my ass. <laughs> evade the the the. Oh God! Oh, the geckos. Were the geckos a boss in four? I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't play through that much of four. Were they a boss, John? Why is this... What the hell? Oh, hold on. Because I'm sure you played it and I didn't. I played... Well, you played through more of it and I didn't. I need to dump that shit to RPCS3. But yeah, this is LQ84i. And I will play the music. And fucking look how sick it is. Fucking um, I God, got... like there's like okay. There's um let me just make sure that uh and for uh, uh, I'm getting the right name. Yeah. There's a uh there's a D and D enemy called the Steel Predator. It is a fucking absolute monster this is how i imagine a steel predator would look after like 500 like 5000 years of like technological advancement oh really these guys look sick they could go on a fucking yugioh card they do i mean the standard lq84i model it does look really cool like it's got, like, all this, like, metal plating around this body, and, like, the thing I found weird about Blade Wolf in general is, like, you got, like, this metal body, but this, like, fleshy bit. This, like, I... microfiber shit. It's, like, so, it's, it's, like, what is under this thing? Uh, honestly, I, I do have that question, but, like, that, 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 for me, that's a positive question, because, like, that makes it more fucked up and evil in a way that, like, it's not, like, it, it's not, like, unsettling. It's unsettling in a place that is, like, already meant to be intimidating to a degree. True. You know? I mean, these, I mean, these things do live, like, a rough, like, rough lives, these things, as demonstrated in MGR. Because, like, mm -hmm. they don't follow their orders, their memory gets wiped and shit. They're basically programmed to kill and, like, not think. Meanwhile, they have this, like, intellect to think and talk. Yeah, I mean, like, which is so, like... And by they, I mean the specific model. The other models, they can't talk. <laughs> I mean, it's plausible that, uh, like... There's just a, uh... It's plausible that there is just, like, an inability to remove their, uh... I mean, there is... It is possible, because it happened with fucking, um, Blade Wolf here. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, it's po Like, what I'm trying to say is, like, it's possible that there was an inability to remove... Like, it might be a fucking human subject in there in some way shape or form and that's fucked up and that's sick as hell and that's also absolutely something that uh the patriots would do even after they're gone <laughs> i mean even i mean the patriots are never really gone let's be honest no one's ever really gone <laughs> but yeah these uh God, just they're so, f like, they're so sleek and yet so 
like it, you like it feels like I'm staring at something that is built to like with the purpose of uh, getting around as efficiently as possible and removing threats. Uh, removing t- whatever it's told. True. It's even <laughs> somehow the Patriots returned. <laughs> somehow the Patriots returned. God. If there's one thing I find like strange about at least Blade Wolf, oh no, he he doesn't have like that little back thing to hold like the chainsaw, which like it's weird that he doesn't have a weapon, but it's like I guess he's just. They just modified him for scouting or whatever. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Or maybe it's just like... I mean, he's Cause... got all those goddamn knives to uh, throw. True. But also, the not the knives coming off of all of, like, all of his limbs in that render. True, but it's like... He's meant to be more in line with, like, Raiden's design. So it, like, makes sense why he looks like this. Yeah, that too. Like... Honestly, just like... I can't give these guys anything less than a five. Like, oh my fucking god, they hit, they hit every single aspect of my. Uh, like, when it comes to sci-fi shit, this is what I'm gunning for, people. And yes, I know they look like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I already said that, but like, it's it bears repeating. Yeah. These it's... literally come from the Blade Wolf archetype. They're like. Their fucking OTK strategy is to just beat, like, they're just a beat-down deck that, uh, fucking d- kills everything in one hit. God. True! It's like, like uh, OG... You were, you were already reading it, so... Yeah, it's like OG Robocop versus 2014 Robocop. Except, like, this isn't... <laughs> I, I see what you mean, because it goes from, like gray silver to like sleek black or whatever but that movie was garbage yeah i mean like and this game is great this game is great but yeah. um like i don't know like the way that i would describe them would be like you know Going from, like, the, uh, fucking iDog iPhone era to the, like, more modern, like, Galaxy, like, like, iPhone, I, like, iDog iPod era to the, like, Galaxy, uh, and, like, iPhone and, like, the sleek blacks and shit like that. True. Essentially. Yeah, I, th- yeah, I see what you mean there. Did you give a rating? I give them five. I like Blade Wolf. Blade Wolf is very cool. Yeah, they're sick. Anyways, let's do... Let's do... Hmm. I'm tempted to do another MGS2 character. Hmm. Did I get his the his version in four? Yeah, I did. I did download that. Anyways, we're gonna go with um another boss, not the main boss. Also, I am not in... the big boss. Yeah. Also, I'm gonna put on a different uh remix of Yell. Also, if you wanted to, you could like because of like the original Metal Gear, you could put Big Boss in. Uh... Uh, I, in this, technically. I, t- 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 technically, I could put in, ven- uh, I could put Naked Snake in here. <laughs> technically, I guess. I don't know. You could put fucking anyone in, like, oh, God. Like, anyone in any re- iteration, there's some way that they that you can fucking fight them. It's just, like, insane. But anyways, we're gonna do Vamp. This weird, this weird Romanian motherfucker who can suck people's blood. And, uh, specifically has a, uh, knife holster in front of his dick. He, yes, because he is gay. 
is very gay. <laughs> Even if Kojima won't say it. I so, mean, like, he's not allowed to say it. I guess. <laughs> I mean, are, are, do you really think that Konami would let him say that? Like, let him come out with a gay character? You never know. Everybody in MGS is a little gay. True. I'm, like, riding, riding this by. Like, very straight-leaning by, but still. True. Uh, Vamp Scream's late 90s, early aughts, goth rave edgy. Yeah, yes. I could see him being an extra, extra in the club scene in Blade. Yes. Uh... Also, this is the only model, like, spread I could get of Vamp, where he's, like, actually wearing his, like, proper MGS2 outfit. Because, if you don't know, he's wearing a coat with the collars up. If he, if it doesn't look vampire-y enough. Yeah. And also, of course, they had to make him Romanian for that. Yes. Christ. So... His original design, um, obviously you got the vampire, you got like the vampire coat going on, the mustache, or the, the goatee, like beard, the hair. Yeah, I eyes. think I can make those out. I, th yeah. I think I can see them. You can make him more out in this screenshot. I mean, yes, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, yeah, even the way his hair is styled. And shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he does have sharp teeth, if you don't know. He does have, like, vampire teeth. So, yeah. I would have. Uh, I assumed. Gay vampire. To be honest. Dude, it's a gay vampire, no way. Uh. Aside from that, um. He does look like he, uh. uh he does look like he's, uh. In. in just a. Go go back to the MGS5 one. The like that, that's he four. straight up looks like a Mortal Kombat character. MGS4 vamp. Yeah, he straight up looks like a Mortal Kombat character. Really? Yeah. Like, I could see that being like a. I could see him being like a fucking cyborg human who. uh switched over to uh like fucking uh Quan Chi's side mm. like Shao Kahn like now serves Shao Kahn like backstabbed fucking uh Jax or whoever mm. I kind of see what you're going for here I mean, like, also, like, with the unnecessary belts, love the- always gotta have those, love those, uh, on every gayest character, uh, including Cloud Strife. <laughs> um. Jesus. What's that on his, uh, other arm? The one that's, like, n like, he- one, he's wearing a glove and, like, an arm brace. I get that. What's, like, on that arm? The other arm. The other arm? To be honest, I do not remember. I think it's just... Either his arm is badly injured, or it's, like, a cyborg arm. I mean, he's also got extra knives holstered there. True. And he's also got robot legs. Yeah. Much like Raiden's. So he can fucking, mm -hmm. like, grab shit with them. Yeah, and run up walls and shit. Yeah. Perfect for biting people. With, but it's not uh, actual... The... He's not actually a vampire, just the nanomachines. It's all about the nanomachines, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, yeah, um... Base vamp is kind of boring aside from the knife dick. True. I like, there's also, like, the bullet hole through his head. That's kind of neat. Yeah, because in little. his Ford design, you can see the scar on his forehead right there. Yeah, that's true. Uh, 
I do just that, like, again, I do think that uh, the first, like, the two design just looks like an extra in the back of that Blade Club scene. True. You know? Uh, but the, like, saying that this guy could, like, the second design could, like, easily make it as, like, a uh, decent Mortal Kombat character, like, like, I could, I could fucking see this guy kick, like, kicking ass and, like, unsheathing, like, four blades and sticking all of them into someone's throat and dragging them up fucking quad by uh, pentasecting their head as a fatality. <laughs> like, I could see this motherfucker in Mortal Kombat. Base one, two and a half. Boring. That, like, the newer one, four and a half. Uh, I give them both, like, I give... I give Vamp, like, base Vamp a 2. I give, uh, for Vamp, like, a 3.5. The thing is just, like, I don't know. I mean, it fits with the aesthetics of, like, 4. It's just not, like, that interesting, really. I mean, it's not super interesting, but, like, I mean, hey, he's, he's kind of cool in that one. Yeah. Like there's there's something to latch on to. Like he's kind like he's kinda got that like uh that fucking like cy brutal cyborg like traitor look to him. Like he does have like that minor villain character aspect. So yeah, uh yeah, Vamp is, uh... We sh I feel like we should have made a joke about vamping, considering the, uh... No. <laughs> well, he's not vamping. He's morbing. He's more... It's, it's, it's Dr. Michael Morbius, no way. It's Jared Leto. <laughs> and that's the stream, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye! <laughs> Good <laughs> Give everyone more shit on top of what they already wear. Right, make it look enough, of that, uh, enough it, of that joke. Make it uh, military looking. Yeah, I yeah. I mean, it's meant to fit in with MGS 4s aesthetic, which is like some of it looks good, but oh, I don't know. Right? Yeah, you're in streamer mode. You didn't hear I actually left the call. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Damn. Anyways, moving on from from Vamp. Yeah. Let's see who else. You know, we should do a one boss. A very important boss from MGS1. Okay. Hmm. Is it the fucking helicopter? <laughs> Are you just going to put a, that, no. an image of a helicopter no, on it screen? Is, no, it's not the Hind D. It is Gray Fox. Hey. The only Gray uh, Fox. Uh, the only Metal Gear Solid character to make it into Smash as an assist trophy. True. Otherwise known as uh, Frank Yeager. If you if you played Metal Gear Two Solid Snake. Man, I did enjoy Warframe. <laughs> Warframe? I mean, it's... Like, it's Does uncanny it look like a... how much some of those fr frames just straight up look like Grey Fox. Oh. I never like, played I... Warframe, so I don't know. 
Uh, I suggest you don't. There is a lot. There are a lot of cooldowns. It's it's a lot of cooldowns. But yeah, yeah. Gray Fox is a has a really dope ass design. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking. I mean, this is his assist trophy design from Brawl, and this is Raiden's skin for him in Rising. Mm-hmm. But... But they're good 3D renders. Yes, they are. They are good 3D renders. Which Konami won't fucking give us. For some reason. Uh, I mean, we... Again, you already said it. They don't care. Yeah, they, so, they kind of just don't care. Yeah. Um, I will agree with what Sarah's saying. It's really simple and effective. Like... Having that one, like, you don't, like, having that one glowing point in, like, the LED in front of his face, like, leading you to, like, stare there instead of, like, the holes where his eyes actually are. Yeah. Uh, it's a fucking brilliant touch uh, that speaks a little bit extra uh, silently about the character. True, it's very intimidating. Just having that, like, mm-hmm. single LED eye just staring at you while he just cleaves you. And it's, like, it's, like, so... When you see where his eyes actually are, uh, you still can't tear your eyes away from that LED. True. It, and uh, also just, like, the fucking contrasting, like, yellowish-orange and, like, the deep, like, almost, like, mucky, uh, oily navy blue. Ah, fuck, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, color scheme is incredible. Uh, so. True. Though there have been, like, different interpretations of what Gray Fox is, like, his colors are, even though in the original it's clearly just, like, orange and navy blue like oh, on his suit mm-hmm. like hold on. here's a better here like Sarah says that single blade as well in a world where everyone has so many powerful weapons it's not just that it's a single blade it's that the blade is all that he has and is like i mean yeah he gets it is true it it is him the suit and the blade that is everything that you need to know true true but then even then like even then he does get like an arm gun or whatever later on that's true Point is, like, there is a lot to like about, uh, just... This design in general. There's a lot to yeah, love about this. It's, it's so, like, it's so pared down, but in a, like, such a meaningful way. He is, he himself is, like... It's no barriers, no guns, no grenades, no tanks, no machines. It's him that you're fighting, you know? Basically, yeah. After all, it's just one guy. It's literally just one dude. And you can take down just like an entire fucking army of like, not an army, just like a whole hallway of genome soldiers. I mean, he probably could take down an army and, and given the time. I mean... True, but he couldn't take down Metal Gear Rex, so there is a clear power cap. I mean... Again, you're asking a guy with a sword to go up against a tank. Hey, Raiden can do that. He's Listen, a cyborg Raiden... ninja. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Raiden... Raiden's a little higher on the skill totem. True. Well, 
Not even skill, just like technology totem as well. I mean, that too. Both, really. Yeah. Uh. Anyways, Gray Fox gets a gets a five. I'd, I'd give like, I'd give him a uh, four like four point five. I don't know what like what I'm looking for, but I feel like there's just like one little thing that uh, whatever it is, it could be it could push this over the edge. It's just like a, like a small detail of some kind that I'm just like you know, I'm not like, I'm not like I will say I, I do judge uh under designed characters more harshly than over designed characters a little bit. Oh really? But uh this guy I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> um but you know what no, I I should give him a five. I really should. I yeah. do. I will. Anyways, move on from... Oh, it's starting to get a little late. Um, you want to do, like, three more, and then we'll cut it? Uh, sure. All right. First... We can do an hour and a half, I Le think. Yeah. Anyways, last... Or not last. Um, let's do... Ah, uh, I want to do him so bad... You know, we're gonna do like three. Listen, Ivan. Three, now is not the time three, to talk about three, three, <laughs> three iconic, three a lot more like iconic bosses. One from Rising and two from Three. Mm. Does that mean that I, when you were referring to her, do you, am I thinking of who you think I'm thinking of? Yes, it should be. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, um. And good thing I just need a singular uh, render for him. Because he just needs one. Is it going to be... Oh, I thought it was going to be Armstrong. No, nah, it's Jetstream Sam. I mean, that's entirely fair. Jetstream Sam, this, uh, this fucker. I mean, look at... In, in that pose, you can see everything you need to know. He's... He's a, he's, he's a, he's, he's cocky. He's real cocky. And he's a charmer, he's too. He's cock. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, anyways, about Sam. I mean, the way his bodysuit is, it fits with, like, kind of like how Vamp is. Like, his, his design kind of apes off of Vamps from 4, but in, like, a different way. Like... Bit. Like the hair, the face, kind of, but it's, like, different enough to where you can really separate it. Like, especially the way his, like, his, uh, cyborg body is. Because it's, like... Yeah, there's... There's clearly stuff he's wearing over part pieces, and there's also parts where, uh, you know, it's just entirely, like, I don't need to cover this, this is... Yeah... And even then, as revealed in the game, like, he doesn't have a lot of cyborg enhancements on him anyway, so. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the only real one he got was after he fought Armstrong in the DLC. He got his arm stabbed, and he got, like, this really gnarly-looking arm. So, which kind of, like shows in a way like his allegiance to Desperado like his new allegiance to Armstrong mm -hmm. if I hadn't played the game before I'd say the design alone doesn't do enough justice for his character true because if you play the yeah. game oh my god yeah. I guess some other stuff I will say too about Sam is he has the fucking PlayStation logo on his goddamn knees 
Does does he? Just like <laughs> kinda like like the original PS One like. Oh, fucking... I get what. Oh, I get what you mean. Yeah, that yeah. diamond. Yeah, um, he has like massive thighs for some reason. Then he his face so he can emote. Yeah, exactly. Many a gif has been made from from Jetstream Sam. Um, yeah, he's got big, thick thighs, and like we talked about with Sundowner, he's got like the parted, like the samurai type um, uh, toe, like shoe type John that we talked about earlier with Sundowner, because his whole design is very based off of like samurai. It's Elastic Girl type thick. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's meant to be very samurai inspired. He's another character, like, unlike Gray Fox, uh, that, that fucking sword can cut through a tank, no doubt. Yeah. Uh, but, like, again, it's another character where it's just him and a sword. True. And a gun, and a gun sheath. I mean, yeah, but, like, Which again, again Gray Fox got the gun arm, so. True. True, true, true. And again, like, this also fits, like, the samurai sort of aesthetic. Same with, like, even the way his, like, hair is. Because he's got, like, a ponytail. He's got, like, a, like a, like a, like a warrior's tail. Which is, like, really, <laughs> really gay, I guess you could say. But it's, like, whatever. Um, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's not like anyone has, it's like, it's not like anyone hasn't drawn these to fucking Raiden <laughs> just to say I'm kissing or something. Anyway, I'm gonna digress from that. Um, also, Dang. his, uh, like, little mouthpiece here, again, like, even when he has it on, it is very, like, samurai-inspired, because samurai do have, like, face coverings like that. And, like, obviously, headdresses like this. The shoulder pad, I think think it's another i mean obviously it's another samurai inspired thing but i don't remember them like looking exactly like this i could be wrong i mean in order to like not sheath your uh his sword but also not have it just burrow to the hilt into the ground uh i think that's a decent fucking comprom i mean like I don't know, it just it doesn't really make any sense when you think more about like how high frequency blades are supposed to work. True. Like it should still be slicing backwards through that if he needs it in the first place. But you know. I guess. I think it just depends on like what the wielder wants it to do. I would assume. I mean that's that's magic y shit at that point but like i mean sci-fi magic whatever yeah. i like also uh may i ask why one peck is exposed and the other peck is not because it's just a it's a part of his arm like it's a part of his armor ah uh, okay yeah just a part of like the armor he got uh, the upgrade he got from desperado okay yeah um so anyways, a uh, verdict on Sam, 5 out of 5 character, eh, like 3.5 out of 10, or 3.5 out of 5 design. Yeah, hard agree on both fronts. Uh, can I also, we can just speedrun Senator Armstrong, uh, 1 out of 5 design, uh, 5 out of 5 character. <laughs> okay. He's just a... He's just a dude in a dude suit, and then he rips off the suit, and he's just dude. Mm. True, I, don't, I yeah. Mm. You have to. I don't know. I think it is more of a character thing with like some of the it designs. One hundred percent is more of a character thing for Armstrong. Pause. Pause. There we go. Okay, so this next boss...
Yeah. Um, it would have been fitting. Someone if said, did... uh, Sarah said, like, imagine if he was boring and looked like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I imagine referring to Senator Armstrong. Hmm. Like, imagine if he was just like a fool, like, just like a fool. I have already placed my, like the fucking president in MGS2. Oh, so a Solidus? Yeah, Solidus, right, yeah. That, fuck. Uh, like, Solidus is fucking boring per personality-wise, in my opinion. Uh, he has a cool design, he has a cool design, though. But yeah, we'll imagine if Senator time. Armstrong had Solidus's personality. That is, uh, that is a one out of five character. Yeah. I guess, I guess, I don't know. Then again, I think there is some more depth to him. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I don't think so design-wise, at least. Oh. Anyway, let's get to uh, second-to-last entry. I mean, this isn't really, but here is the end. Ooh. <laughs> We couldn't say we couldn't do the joke because you know, yeah, uh, obvious. But like, it is the oldest man in the world in a ghillie suit, the father of modern sniping, the father of modern sniping. Yo, there's a little, there's a little parrot. Now, and the... there are like a hundred different ways to take him down. But it's gonna take you a fucking while. Yeah. This man is in game, such a fucking badass. He is. God. Uh, I will say, there is something especially like, like especially like telling and like. This fits into game like a little bit into gameplay, but the fact that his eyes are so glazed over and near like milky, and like clearly he can't see very well through them, and despite that, he's still sniping you with perfect accuracy. I mean, he can Speaks pop his eyes out. Volumes. He can what? he can pop his eyes out of his head and like, fucking like, his eyes still function. Like, it's not like. His eyes don't work. It's just like it looks gross when he actually uses them. I didn't remember that honestly. It's, it's yeah. been a while, man. Yeah, he's, yeah, he yeah. still uses his eyes to like snipe. It's just the yeah. suit works for him. That's a ghillie suit, my friend. Well, yeah, the old gristle. Yeah, it work. It works perfectly, especially considering like mm -hmm. he and Quiet uh, another. Like, they share, like, the same sort of, like, power, where they have, like, photosynthesis. Yeah. It's very weird, but, like, his ghillie suit is, like, and I'm not gonna say it's attached to him, but it works in tandem with him, because, like, there are times where it will, like, change colors, so it'll be, like, a, I, I think it's, like, a Active kind of... Active camo? Yeah, because I know, like, when... I'm sure it happens in gameplay, but I know when you beat him, like his um, ghillie suit, the f the leaves they turn like brown. I know there's something like that yeah. there. Um, so there is like, uh, it, it, they might they might be like actively. It, it might be more like cybernetic than first at first glance. Which would be interesting in and of itself as well. Yeah, but it's even, like, crazier that it's more, like, organic. You know, more biological. Because he's, like, dude's lived for so long, it's, like, he just has this, like, insane power. Mm -hmm. It's, like, baked into his design and shit. Um, 
I also found like his like weird liver spots here like kind of interesting. Like obviously mm -hmm. he's an old man, but like they I don't look know, more just... like scars in like in those formations. Uh, they are liver spots, obviously, but like the way that <laughs> this is the fucking crustiest render. Oh my god! It is. Sorry. Uh... <laughs> Just trust us. It, it's really, it, it's really fucking good. Um, uh, also, just like he almost looks unassuming. He almost, like he almost looks approachable. Uh, I mean, save for the gun. I mean, it is a trank gun, but he fucking knows how to use it. Mm-hmm. Dude, so all these straight up dies if you don't play for two weeks. Yep. That's true. I remember that. I remember. And uh, also, you can kill him early like a fucking coward if you want to miss the entire best boss fight in the goddamn series. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. That's a much better render. More accurate colors, too. Yeah. I mean, I think this is bright. This is more vibrant. Meanwhile, this is like more accurate to the game. But yeah, I mean, the parrot looks more accurate to the game in this render. Yeah. Uh. I will say, man, it comes prepared. He has everything that he will need. Yeah. He will like. Here's the thing, if it weren't for the end of his life coming up, he would be willing and able to wait you out for years. True. If he didn't if he if he didn't die after like two weeks, yeah. 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 This uh everything on like on his body, on his person, speaks to that aspect of like Someone who uh, is as prepared as can be, and also, like, is as experienced as can be, has reached the end of what one can learn, and uh, one c what one can experience, and th what one can pre prepare for, and as such, you know... is putting all of it into practice. And also, cute little parrot. Yeah. You can kill that thing and eat it. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> uh, but if you do, you're a bastard. My parrot, my friend, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that parrot was ready to see him out until his final day. Yeah, this, uh, this man, I've been given a lot of fives. I think I'm going to give another. Everything about him is spoken to at you through his design. True. True. I might as well give him, throw him a fucking five. Salutes to the father of modern sniping. Hell yeah. It is a good job. Out of doors. I can guarantee you'll not go hungry. Yeah. Because as long as there's two people left on the planet, this bit will go nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> now I know what... I know exactly what y'all are waiting for next... Uh, the boss. Yep. That's the spirit render from uh, Smash Ultimate, right? I think so, yeah. But I also have other other pictures of her. Yeah, I got like a couple more. But yeah, the boss. Oh my god. Snake's old mentor. 
the <laughs> the woman who betrayed her own country to save it. <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing. Yeah. She is one of the best written and most powerful characters in all of fiction. She is just wearing a bodysuit. True. It is a sneaking suit. <laughs> I mean, it is a very good looking sneaking suit, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 here's the thing it looks really nice, and like, it. It, like. It has enough, like, detail and, like, the fucking... Also, the leg brace on her, uh, right leg, um, looks pretty sick. Would you move the left render a little bit further to the center? Thank you. Uh, there's her scars when you actually see her, uh, open up the bodysuit. Um, there's, uh... I mean, she's wearing a belt. Look, Ivan, I'm stretching. I mean, here. well, I mean, it fits with the fight too, because her final fight, that you can infer that naked snake ripped off her style because he respected her so much. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah that's absolutely. to the character. That's to the character of the boss. Yeah. How much yeah. snake admired her. However, her design. I feel it does like. It is weird that like you would be wearing a, a white pure white sneaking suit in a forest setting. However, at the end of the game, it does make sense mm -hmm. considering Snake and her are fighting in like a, a field of like white flowers. I'm not sure what they're called. But I feel it does fit with that. Like I feel It, it fit, fits there. It yeah. does. I listen. I do th There's hmm. just not much here, man. Like and I understand that pared down makes sense for that final battle, 100%. I don't think that it necessarily makes sense for, like, the rest of the game, though. The rest of the because game after she... Virtuous Mission. I mean, yeah. Her, Her face and expressions, expressions do a, a lot of heavy lifting, 1,000%. Well, yeah. And, like... And I wouldn't say that's necessarily part of your design, though. Yeah. I mean, it is, but it, like... I mean... It, it's, a, it's a gray area. Yeah. Listen. This is one of the, like... This is one of the hardest 2.5s that I've ever had to give out. I guess I'm a little biased, too, because I used to use this suit a lot when I played MGS5, because you could unlock that suit. Yeah. I mean, a... like... Yeah. It look It's a good-looking bodysuit, but, like... It's underwhelming in a series with so many other really phenomenal designs. Hmm. Benchmarks. Uh... And, like, games with, like, a series where these less is more character designs have stood out, like Grey Fox, and, like, Psycho Mantis, and, like, uh... Even the end. Fucking the end, yeah. Uh, she's just a woman in a bodysuit. Yeah, Sarah, you hit it the hit the nail on the head. It looks great on her and fits so well, it just doesn't hit as hard as other designs. I I I gotta give it a 2.5. I can't I really can't give it any higher. So, I give it a three. Well, uh That's if your bosses. It fits her, but like yeah. Yeah. It fits, uh, it, it, yeah, it fits her. It, Like, again, I probably would have rated it lower if it didn't fit her, because, like, you know, it's, it's, it's the boss, you know? Yeah. Um, essentially, that 
was Metal Gear bosses. Yeah. So, what's the takeaway from this episode? Let, let's ask. I'm not really sure what the takeaway is. Um, I, I think, guess the takeaway think... is is that like Metal Gear has like had such like unique bosses like personality wise and look wise, but like really. I don't know. I feel like it's a lot of the characters. It's more the character itself that makes it rather than the design itself. I mean, yeah, I think so. Like, I think a lot of uh, a lot of these metal, uh, a lot of these bosses were made by the personalities and the voice acting and the writing and everything meshing together into a perfect ma uh, match, rather than just a perfect visual design uh that immediately strikes you yeah uh because even in the cases where um like there were characters that say like gray fox uh there were implications relating to gameplay or relating to the story or relating to the writing same thing with uh sundowner uh same thing with psychomantis so many of these were so much more intertwined with every other aspect that we had to bring up gameplay and me like mechanics more often in this episode than we ever have before on this podcast. True. So I think that's just like a testament to how Metal Gear is designed. Every character is a sum of every aspect and you can't point to one thing without really like grabbing from everything else true true man true like sarah is saying less is more and little touches that help to find the character and make great design yeah that too so with that being said i think uh I think that's a wrap on Metal Gear bosses. And, uh, right now I'm deciding between a couple of, uh, particular ideas for the next episode. But, uh, what I think that I'm going to suggest is, uh, well, uh, I think that next episode should be something a little different from what we've been doing thus far. Sure. Uh, Ivan's been playing a very light amount of Dead by Daylight, so he's been getting the ropes on the game. But he doesn't necessarily know what all of the perks do. Is that oh. about right? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I know what this is. I already know what this is. So what we're going to do is we're going to play a little bit of a game where I show him the icon for one of the perks. He tries to tell me what he thinks it does uh, just based on the... Uh, icon. Like, the... Yeah, the icon and the render. And we rate it based on its readability... For, like, a casual, like, at a glance aspect. True. I won't be putting shit like Rancor or, like, the ones where it's just a face on there. But, like, I think this will be fun. And it'll be a nice change of pace. Yeah. Anyways, thank you very much, Stream. Yeah, it does sound like a fun episode, sir. Anyways, yeah. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.